Hey guys, it's Ana Karina and welcome back to my channel. Um, things have been a little crazy, but I've officially completed my first semester of freshman year of college, which is super exciting. And I found out that I'm able to move into my dorm starting January 1st and it's almost December 1st now. So I am in the process of getting everything and packing. I basically have all the bare necessities, but I just wanted to go ahead and do a little like dorm pack with me that isn't like my clothes and stuff, just as like a little prequel to moving into my dorm. I thought it'd be exciting and it gives me motivation to pack, so. I'm gonna be completely honest. This process has been really hard. I don't, I don't think you can really see like all the stuff that's below me right now. I mean, we're talking, this is like maybe two quarters of everything. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing basically a pack with me for college. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I go to Savannah College of Art and Design. Our campus was closed to a majority of students first semester so I stayed home so did my roommates and now we're moving in January 1st which is really abrupt but so exciting I look like a hot mess because I've been moving so many boxes down here I <laughs> just like completely out of breath I'm in one of the basement back rooms that we just kind of use for storage that used to be my brother's room these are like the necessities kind of like when they give you a list of like what to pack with you to bring to college for your dorm that's what basically all of this is that I'm about to be packing with you guys. Um, I'm not packing my clothes yet, obviously. I have a month until I leave, but um, this is turning into a gym, so I have to get rid of all of my stuff in here. But we're talking, also I'm living in a two bedroom suite by myself. That's like how housing's working right now, which is kind of crazy. So I'm packing for basically like a dining room, like dining living room, a kitchenette, a full bathroom, a full bedroom, and office living space. So there's a lot. <laughs> um, I kind of have it sorted out already. I'll show you again. So over here is bedroom. This is kitchen. If you can't tell I have like a little color scheme going on. Still kitchen. Still a kitchen and some bedroom, some bathroom, and I honestly kind of lost. Oh, I think my bathroom stuff's all the way back there. So, like I said, it's a lot. Um, I think I just like when I looked at videos, I didn't know necessarily like what to bring, and I think with Corona now, with like the amount of times that kids are probably going to be living by themselves or at least just with one other roommate. I guess that's normal. I guess I'm not used to it. For me, it's like only sweets as a freshman. But anyways, so I just kind of want to do a breakdown of like cute stuff to get for your dorm that isn't like too in-depth. Like I'm not going to show you command strips and stuff like that. But basically like the gist and the theme of like what I want in my own dorm to make it more of like my place. Okay, so I brought you guys a little bit closer down. Just so I have this bin all opened up and... I said I was gonna do bathroom stuff, so might as well. First thing I have is this Get Naked bath mat from Urban, and it's like in an orange and teal, which my shower is by itself, like in its own room, and so I can have like a really good pop of color in there. Wow, I literally just have everything everywhere. Okay, we're gonna go with this. And next bathroom thing, another bath mat, but super long, like a runner rug because my sink area is out in the open and more neutrals, but a pop of color as well. And do that. This basket is going underneath my bathroom sink and it has a bunch of crap in it right now. Well, not crap, but... Okay. Waffle knit shower curtain from Target. I had originally gotten a shower curtain from Urban and just didn't like it. It's like super heavy and Target just like sells them for so much cheaper. 
and I wanted to keep it plain since I have that orange bath mat rug. Go ahead and put that in there. The random stuff, you know, the plastic that goes in your shower plus the rings. And then laundry basket. But yeah, that's totally separate. And then I have a scale to go in my bathroom as well, also from Target. Now we're gonna roll back here. Ugh. Again, sticking with that pop of color, I have this from Urban, I believe, yeah. And it's just a teal rubber plastic shower thing that hangs like a shower caddy that's flexible. So, pop of color that matches the rug, like the lettering in the rug, which is cute. Um, honestly, as of right now, I don't think I have anything else for my bathroom. Like, I have a few, so confusing part is, is that like I'm packing all of the new stuff that I have and then I'm trying to utilize as much as possible of stuff that I already have from when I moved down to my parents' basement. So, so things like a soap holder and my like toothbrush holder and everything, dispensers and stuff, that's all not getting packed yet just because Obviously, I still have a month of using all of this, so. Well, one box done. We're gonna go in and we're go gonna go ahead and just do kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen has a lot of miscellaneous things, but it's a kitchen. Okay, so again, there's definitely a theme going on here with color. Um, I guess my entire color thing started oh, when I got my mini Keurig. I'm one of those people where I have to have coffee within 10 minutes of waking up or else I'm so mean the rest of the day. Like, just don't talk to me until I've had coffee and then We'll move on. Like, I've always been a hot coffee type person. Iced coffee has always been, like, my weekend coffee. But, like, before school, it has to be hot to really wake me up. So, we have that. And then, super exciting stuff. Technically, you're not really allowed to bring this stuff to your dorm. But, the dining halls like, closed, like, to sitting in and everything's takeout. So, I have a feeling I'm going to be making a lot of my own food in, like, my mini kitchenette. So I have a rice cooker as well. Let's go ahead and stick it in. Um, I also have this big old air fryer that I don't think is gonna fit in here. So that's gonna have to go by itself. Anyways, cutting board, super generic, just like different size ones, easy to wash and everything. Then we have my white bowls, also from Target. Literally every single one of these were a dollar, I believe. So also my white plates, just because I don't want anything that can be super breakable in the dorm. Just not gonna deal with that. Then we're back to my teal. So my teal cups as well. They're not transparent, it's just kind of key. Um, now we basically just have all the miscellaneous things I was telling you guys about. So, teal container for leftovers. Another one. And a ceramic knife with a cover on it. So whenever I want to cut any kinds of meats or veggies and stuff, just to have one. Um, my Brita water bottle. I don't know how great Savannah water is. I don't know if that makes sense to some people, but like when you go out of state, like not everyone has like great purifying systems. So this one has the premium water filter in it so that I can just get it from anywhere on my way from class and like not really worry about it. 
I mean, I'm sure tap water, like, tap water is fine, but I don't know. My stomach is really sensitive, so <laughs> I just don't want to risk it. And I have a colander for my pasta, because I live off of pasta. Then, oh, this thing's huge. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in this one. Okay, so I have a Brita water thing to put inside of my fridge there so oh that's, that's fine then like really little things i got at target on sale that are like an instant read thermometer for meats and stuff i'm not the best at like knowing if meat's fully cooked through besides looking at it and sometimes chopped up meat is in cute so <laughs> So then again same colors and like all of this stuff i know i'm gonna be using next year when i'm in my own, own apartment or house so i feel really good about that so no more buying like after that and then i have a can opener also teal my measuring stuff and then this is gonna be so random but someone once asked me like what's one thing in the kitchen that i just couldn't live without and for me, it's my cheese grater. So you like put your Parmesan cheese in here and then you grate it like this and you spin it and it just goes on top of your pasta. I freaking love it. <laughs> so I had to get one for myself. Um, I have a lot of decoration that I'm putting in my room and in my living room, but I'm not exactly sure where everything's gonna go yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all in one bin just labeled as decor instead of like bedroom versus living room so this i do know is going in my living room it's just a stardust tapestry from urban i also have a really big moon and star theme going on it's always just been my thing so have a crescent moon mirror that i actually have out here but that one's in gold this one's in silver my camera's about to die oh dear then I have this in my room as well. You can kind of see it. Yeah. Just lights. I um, may have to undo it. And then this is the same thing as that moon one, but it's in a sun. Again, these things I don't think are just kind of like that. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Next, blackout curtains that are just white and laundry hamper oh wait i need to reorganize that so we had a slight intermission um my camera died and then i got an awful headache so that happened and i realized like part way through as i was filling this bucket before i like left i was just not even thinking like i was doing the opposite of what i had said um, so I was a little out of it, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and take out my curtain and Well, I guess the curtain can technically be decoration and I don't really know where okay, We're gonna go ahead and leave the curtains in there okay. anyways um, This neon sign So we'll go ahead and pop this rainbow neon sign in there um, my only issue is the fact that like these things are so big and I don't think I want to take them out of the box in case anything were to happen, but little moon vandal. Again, I have so many decorations that it's currently in my basement that I'll then move over oh my hair is bothering me i'm sorry i don't do well with my short hair i very much regret cutting it but we are dealing you know it's fine um okay i have these little himalayan salt crystal lead lights which i thought were really cute i've never seen this before i do really like Himalayan salt lamps. I have one down here in the basement. So I got another one. Went to Hobby Lobby, which I have never been to before. And got this for like $15. I 
they're usually around 30 or so. Um, I just have my vines. I have more vines I need to actually go get from outside. Just a little plant. Just random stuff. More vines. Literally, I'm just putting all my scotch tape and stuff in this little bag. And this really gorgeous thing that I got off of Etsy. It's off of Taylor Swift's new album. It's running Jasmine created it. Wow, that just opened back up. Um, it is plastic, oh plastic, <laughs> it has bubble wrap around it, but it's a glass frame, which I think is so beautiful. Of uh, her album cover with sage green. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my laundry bag in here as well. And I just have a roll of posters as well. That again, don't have a specific place yet, just gonna figure it out once I'm there. So next I have this big mother of a tub for the rest of the stuff. I do have two rugs here. This one is going in my bedroom, that one in my living room, obviously not gonna fit in the boxes. This as well is coming with me, won't fit in a box, that as well. And then I have my really big mattress topper. So because housing assignment is completely different this year with Corona and everything, I get to put my two twin extra long beds together, which makes a king bed. So I went ahead and got myself a king size mattress topper plus a king size mattress protector bamboo sheets from amazon both these are from amazon and have really great sales and then i went ahead and got myself a goose down king size comforter which obviously is usually so expensive i was really worried about that but i looked on groupon around black friday and i got it for like 70 dollars altogether when it, they're usually 250 because it's like real goose down and not just alternative down so i'm really excited about her she was a really good find um i do also have a couch in my living room and it's gray and like it's obviously a couch that many people have sat on before so i just went ahead and got a plush like cover to put over it that i can remove and wash whenever necessary so let's go ahead and just put I guess my bed in. yeah we'll put it down I do also have this is more this is obviously decoration but for my birthday my cousins got me this Andy Warhol skateboard from the Met that I'm going to be hanging in my dorm and I absolutely love it. It's just like everything I desire. So I'm put that in here too. Then we have these big guys. I forgot, I also have my I have two pillows, one of them I'm using now, this one I just got from Target, um, and then my memory foam one I'll bring down with me. But I also have pink size sheets from Urban. They're this really cute Scorpio pattern. Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio, that's not what I meant. Zodiac pattern. <laughs> and I have still a twin like bed skirt because I'll only need it on one side because part of my bed will be up against the wall. And I have two more sheets coming. I just have no idea where they are. I'm gonna go ahead and just, and then I have these little separators if, if needed. I don't think I will need them, but we shall bring it just in case. 
And lastly, I have this big body pillow from Urban that's in this mauve color, which I love. Oh, wow. This is so weird being packed. Okay, I basically have everything packed. The only things I have left are those two rugs, big mattress topper, which that plus my air fryer. I'll show you guys it. It's actually really light. So this is the air fryer. I use it at home so much, so we went ahead and got one for my dorm. So air fryer, rugs, mattress topper, mirror, and painting. I guess not painting, canvas. Trash can. And then just like my throw pillows and everything from my couch already. I'll just go ahead and show you guys that real quick. By the way, these are my rugs up close. I got them a five by seven, two five by seven rugs from Target on sale for $50 each when they're also usually 200. So there's really great sales going on right now. <laughs> so I'm bringing this to have in my toilet room, but obviously I'm keeping it here until then. Then I just have my, you know, toothbrush and everything. Sorry, like the downstairs is kind of a mess. I had surgery two and a half weeks ago now. And so I have like a bunch of medical stuff just like lying around, but it went fine. That's why we have a little hiatus. I'm also bringing this. And then my friend and I created this painting to have go above my sofa when I'm there another video coming so it's so much stuff here but then I'll be bringing these throw pillows my comfy that white one there and my blanket along with these plants and canvas up here then from my room I will probably bring this white rug along with my little pillows I have my vine in my mirror here which I will also bring to have in my dorm, plus like my shoe rack. Um, this is obviously staying here because it's so heavy, it's over 200 pounds. But I think I'm gonna take down these posters and bring them with me. Going to leave this here, but I'm gonna take my canvas and my neon sign. And I have my two throw pillows here that I'm going to go ahead and like take everything besides like one pillow, I believe. <laughs> and then my own little painting plus my hamper. It's definitely weird knowing I'm moving out. Like I literally just moved down to the basement. Um, but it's a really good change and I'm just so excited to finally like be with my roommates even though we're not living together. Just like being in the same hall and everything and being on campus together. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to have some in-person classes, but I'll go ahead and update you guys when I know more about that. But I do have some really exciting videos coming, thrift flips, Black Friday hauls, like everything's coming out, so it'll be super nice. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you have any more questions about university or dorm living, anything like that.